Smokey the Bear Sutra by Gary Snyder Read for LibriVox.org by Ed Humple and Eileen Tipping Once in the Jurassic, about 150 million years ago, the great sun Buddha in this corner of the infinite void gave a discourse to all the assembled elements and energies, to the standing beings, the walking beings, the flying beings, and the sitting beings, even grasses, to the number of thirteen billions, each one born from a seed, assembled there, a discourse concerning enlightenment on the planet Earth. In some future time there will be a continent called America. It will have great centers of power called such as Pyramid Lake, Walden Pond, Mount Rainier, Big Sur, Everglades, and so forth and powerful nerves and channels such as Columbia River, Mississippi River, and Grand Canyon. The human race in that era will get into troubles all over its head and practically wreck everything in spite of its own strong, intelligent Buddha nature. The twisting strata of the great mountains and the pulsings of volcanoes are my love burning deep in the earth. My obstinate compassion is schist and basalt and granite, to be mountains, to bring down the rain. In that future American era I shall enter a new form, to cure the world of loveless knowledge that seeks with blind hunger and mindless rage, eating food that will not fill it. And he showed himself in his true form of Smokey the Bear. A handsome, smoky-colored brown bear, standing on his hind legs, showing that he is aroused and watchful, bearing in his right paw the shovel that digs to the truth beneath appearances, cuts the roots of useless attachments, and flings damp sand on the fires of greed and war. His left paw in the mudra of comradely display, indicating that all creatures have the right to live to their limits, and that deer, rabbits, chipmunks, snakes, dandelions, and lizards all grow in the realm of the Dharma. Wearing the blue work overalls symbolic of slaves and laborers, the countless men oppressed by a civilization that claims to save but often destroys, wearing the broad-brimmed hat of the West, symbolic of the forces that guard the wilderness, which is the natural state of the Dharma and the true path of man on earth. All true paths lead through mountains. With a halo of smoke and flame behind, the forest fires of the Kali Yuga, fires caused by the stupidity of those who think things can be gained and lost, whereas in truth all is contained, vast and free, in the blue sky and the green earth of one mind round-bellied to show his kind nature, and that the great earth has food enough for everyone who loves her and trusts her, trampling underfoot wasteful freeways and needless suburbs, smashing the worms of capitalism and totalitarianism, indicating the task, his followers becoming free of cars, houses, canned foods, universities, and shoes, mastered the three mysteries of their own body, speech and mind, and fearlessly chop down the rotten trees and prune out the sick limbs of this country, America, and then burn the leftover trash. Wrathful but calm, austere but comic, Smokey the Bear will illuminate those who would help him. But for those who would hinder or slander him, he will put them out. Thus his great mantra. Nama Samanta Vajranam Chanda Maharoshana Svataya Hum Traka Ham Nam. I dedicate myself to the universal diamond. Be this raging fury destroyed. And he will protect those who love woods and rivers, gods and animals, hobos and madmen, prisoners and sick people, musicians, playful women and hopeful children. And if anyone is threatened by advertising, air pollution, television, or the police, they should chant Smokey the Bear's war spell. Drown, drown their, their butts, butts, crush their butts, butts drown their butts, butts crush their butts. their butts. And Smokey the Bear will surely appear to put the enemy out with his Vajra shovel. Now those who recite this sutra 
then try to put it in practice, will accumulate merit as countless as the sands of Arizona and Nevada. We'll help save the planet Earth from total oil slick. We'll enter the age of harmony of man and nature. We'll win the tender love and caresses of men, women, and beasts. We'll always have ripe blackberries to eat and a sunny spot under a pine tree to sit at. And in the end we'll win the highest, perfect enlightenment. Thus we have heard. May be reproduced free forever. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.